Welcome everybody back to my channel. Welcome my new subscribers, my returning subscribers, and anyone new who may be watching this video. So today we are going to be doing a channeled letter from your passed on loved ones. So for the first pile, we got the selenite stone here. And this is with the blue heart letter. And then we have the amber stone here for the second pile and the pink heart letter and then we have the labradorite stone here with the green heart letter so whenever you are ready the timestamps will be in the description box below thanks welcome everybody who picked pile number one with the selenite stone here so we're going to see what uh they have to say in your channeled letter here So we have how I long to watch the sunset with you again. I miss you with all my heart. You were my everything, my sun, my moon. I loved how we talked for hours all the time. You always made me feel special. I loved our vacations together. You and I had so much fun together. I miss our dog. Until I see, your, see you again, always know I'm with you every day. Look up at the stars and I'm there. So what I'm getting from this letter, I feel that it's either someone's best friend that had passed away or a cousin of somebody's. And you guys used to spend a lot of time together and you guys also had a lot of fun together. And maybe you guys also grew up together when you were younger as well, I'm getting. And you guys were always just running around, doing stuff, carefree, very adventurous, the both of you. And I really feel that this person wasn't that old when they had passed away. It's a, I'm definitely getting maybe it was a male that had passed away. And you guys were kind of growing up like best friends. Maybe you guys lived in the same town as well. So I'm going to be pulling a C here. It was time, it was, my, it was my time to go. I have become one of your guides. I am sorry, please forgive me. And you are never alone. Like I'm getting that this person is always by your side because I feel that you guys did a lot of stuff together growing up and stuff and you guys were very connected in that way and I feel that they are still with you guiding you through life as they says I have become one of your guides and they're always trying to reach out always trying to reach out to help you or connect with you in some way or connecting you to certain people or jobs that they're trying to help you with here on earth so it was my time to go I feel that this person also may have died in an accident as well. Maybe it could have been unexpected. And maybe it was an accident and they're saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Like maybe they just did something careless and it ended up killing them. And for that, he wants to say, I'm sorry. Like he just always feels so guilty because you're really hurting of their because of their passing and he just wants you he wants to you to forgive him because of this hello from heaven support and receive so like i said what i'm getting here <clears throat> Also, to this person really kind of, maybe you still get really choked up even thinking about this person's passing because with my throat feeling so tight and it feels like I'm like kind of choking up. But they want to say hello from heaven. They want you to know that you're always, they are always thinking about you and they're always sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they still love you and prove that they're with you all the time 
You might find pennies. You might see a lot of butterflies or feathers you might find as well. So that's messages of that from them talking to you from heaven. I feel that you guys really supported each other while he was here on earth. And you feel kind of broken, really broken right now without him. And it's just it's just been really hard like it just it just broke you inside I feel after like it was just very very devastating like this person always liked to give he always liked to give from his heart he always I feel he was a very funny guy as well and he just loved to give to people like even surprise people with certain things and just he really was a very caring person So we have the number 12, a change in the wind. And then we have by the book. And then we have serendipity. So like I said, this person, whatever happened, he went quick. Like it just, everything just changed in an instant. Maybe because of his wrong decision that he made here on earth. But he always, he was always very careful and everything. That's why it was maybe confusing for you why he made this decision. But he wants you to know that something is about to come into your life that's going to change it. Something lucky is coming for you. That's a message that this person has for you. The number 18, 11, or 12 could be a significance to you. Birthdays, the day they passed, the month, maybe one of the months that they were born. Or this person may have not been that old too when they passed away, I'm getting as well. So we have talent. confidence and new beginnings so with this I feel that this person was a very talented individual he was a very creative person maybe he liked to dance like this is something that maybe he, he did here on earth he always carried a lot of confidence in him maybe he had a bit of an ego sometimes as well but there are going to be new doors opening, he's saying for you, and some new beginnings coming in. So maybe there's something that's going to be lining up for you here. And you're going to see a lot of butterflies in the summer when you think of him, especially blue butterflies. So we have here communication is key. What do you need to release? And your dreams need a practical plan. So what I am getting from this is you really need to communicate even to him as he's passed to try to release what had happened to him. He needs you to communicate that and he wants you to know that you're feeling his presence that he's so sorry he wish he could just reach out and touch you. But you need to take back your life and make a plan for yourself and follow your dreams they're saying do not let his passing hold you back from anything that from his choices that he made in his life so I'm going to pull some um, messages as well this may be a significance to you as well So we have fall. So this is, um, he may have sustained a fall. Some of them he may have passed through an accident. Some people he may have passed, uh, he fell or something or passed away in the fall. Uh, he could, this person could have had dogs as well. So we have trips. This person loved taking trips with you. This person had a really big heart, like just so big. He loved taking care of people. Absolutely very nurturing person as well. 
And then we have traveling again. And then we have mountains and trees. So maybe he really liked to be outdoors. So let's just see, let's pull some charms as well for you here and see what we can pick up here. So we have Angel watching over you. So he's watching over you. He's like, you're never ever alone. You made this person feel like a king. Like you guys used to be so close together. Like he was so happy when he was around you. And like I said, a lot of butterflies are coming. You guys are very, really connected. Like maybe you guys used to go fishing together as well. Like I said, he protected you a lot and he wants you to know that he is at peace and he doesn't want you to worry. Right now you may be feeling kind of numb still from his passing, but things are going to get better. He wants you to know, like he's always watching over you here with the angel wing. This person never turned his back on you, never. He was always there for you 100%. Like that, that, you guys were grounded together. There was a lot of stability in your friendship. Even if you guys were cousins or something or best friends, they, you could count on this person always. And then it says this person, maybe this person had made you some handmade gifts or when he did buy you gifts, it was always from the heart. It was handmade. And like I said, this person may have had pets, like I said, dogs or some type of an animal. That he, had, that he had left behind. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number two with the amber stone here. And this pink heart letter here. So we have here, my sweet Lily, I miss you. I loved our walks in the garden and watering the flowers. You always knew how to brighten my day. I love the color pink. I loved orchids. I miss baking with you. The cookies were, we made were so good. Always remember me and our wonderful times together. Till we meet again, I love you. So what I'm getting, this is somebody's grandmother that had passed away, so maybe you would always bake cookies with her as well. Maybe uh, this could be a message to her other granddaughter that maybe their name is Lily or maybe the grandmother's name was that. But you guys used to spend a lot of time together. Maybe she was, maybe you guys, maybe she used to watch you when your mom would work or your parents would work and you would spend a lot of time with your grandmother when you were younger. And she's definitely coming through for you. So I will always point you in the right direction. If I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. I am so much better now. And we will be together again. I definitely feel that you guys were very, very close to one another. I feel maybe you guys also used to travel together. Maybe your grandmother would travel with you guys, with you and your family. Maybe you guys used to go to the lake. I feel that she was a very active lady as well. She really liked to go out into nature, walk, and maybe she hiked as well. Maybe she liked to go kayaking, or maybe, or maybe that's something that you would like doing. But she's always going to point you in the right direction here. Maybe you feel stuck sometimes, maybe because you, you would always talk to her for advice while she was here. And she's always guiding you. So just listen to your intuition. She'll, if you're stuck between two paths to take, she will kind of give you a little nudge and say, this is what you need to do. So maybe she had figured she had more time here on this earth. I feel that she didn't live quite as long as she thought she was going to. She definitely 
she could have passed from a heart attack or something as well for some of you that I'm getting. Two, she always, either she really liked rainbows or you see a lot of rainbows as well. Since her passing, that's how, she, that's how you know that she's around. So we have stay connected. We have animal kingdom. And gratitude. So this person was very grateful for the time that they had here on earth. And she loves spending time with you. And like she always wants you to stay connected to her. Like maybe you might have dreams of her together. As well as she may have had, she maybe really liked either horseback riding. Maybe she liked to do stuff like that. You may see a lot of birds. She may have had a dog or maybe a rabbit as well. But she liked all animals. She was just such a caring person. She loved being outside, seeing all the different wildlife. But she was also a very grateful person. She was very open-minded, very loving, very caring. She was always the person, she was so grateful what she had in her life. She wouldn't complain a lot. She was just always focused on the good in her life. And that's how come she had so much abundance in her life and prosperity too. Maybe she, she had a lot of good luck in her life while she was here. So we have a never ending story with the number 37. It says breathe with the number 29. And then we have TikTok with the number 30. So yeah, like I said before, I feel that she didn't, she, it was only a matter of time. Maybe she did have maybe some heart issues or something that was only a matter of time that would have taken her life. But you just can't accept this. You keep playing it over and over in your mind. Like she just, it just wasn't fair. Like maybe yourself, you were 30 years old, between the ages of 30 or 37 when your grandmother had passed away. I don't feel that she was that old herself, maybe late 50s, early 60s, the most. But it just happened all of a sudden. And it just, it was kind of a shock to the family. But she wants you to know, just take it easy. Like she wants you to just relax. There's nothing that you could have done. And she just, she just wants you to say she's so much better now. So just don't carry this burden with you. So we have family. Compassion. And answers. So for this, I feel that she was, she was very connected to her family. She loved spending time with people like baking dinner. Christmas events, Easter. She just had so much compassion for her family and for the world. She was just such a giving and caring person that she wanted to help everybody out while she was here on earth. And I feel that maybe she's going to give you some answers. Maybe you still have answers after her passing, but just pay attention. She's going to give you some signs and she wants you to know just, just to take care of yourself. So we have show the world the real you. A time to give rather than to take. And prosperity lies ahead. So this person wants you to know there is going to be a time where things are going to get better for you. So maybe sometimes between May, end of April or May, something good is about to come your way. She's giving a message here. And like I said, a time to give rather than to take. So she wants to get, she was always the type of person that would rather give than take away from people. She had such a shining light around her, beautiful soul. So show the world the real you. Just be who you are, she's saying to you. Like maybe sometimes you're scared or nervous, but she just wants you to just be you. Just be happy and be you, she's saying. 
so I'm going to pull some messages here as well if there's anything else so we have the name Benjamin so this may may be a significance to you something older she could have been I feel that she was younger but this someone it could have been older as well tattoos maybe she was thinking of getting a tattoo I'm I'm I'm, I'm guessing like maybe she was a little bit of a rebel as well but very compassionate person so it says smells good so like I said she really loved to bake she could have been a Virgo she may have wore glasses as well and she could also have been a Pisces so let's take a look here we'll pull some charms So we have uh, the ship wheel. So we're going to see, she's always going to point in the right directions here. Like I will always point you in the right direction and she will. If you're feeling confused, pray to her, talk to her, and she will guide you through whatever choice you want to make. She wants you to know that she's at peace here and she wants you to be at peace as well. I feel that you used to have a lot of fun with her as well. And she, she just had such a big heart and you absolutely loved her. She was a very, very wise person too. Like I said, big heart, like she just had the biggest heart here. And she is watching over you all the time with these angels here. She's always watching over you. Like I said, she may have liked horses as well. There may be some secrets maybe too that were hidden or maybe something that is still going to be unlocked for you. Maybe it's just a secret right now, but something is coming. But you guys were very connected. So connected. Like you just, you, she, you were her favorite person. And you guys just had so much fun together, going out, doing things. And you guys just had a special connection here while she was here on earth. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number three with the Labradorite stone here and the green heart letter. So let's see what they have to tell you. There were times I didn't think I'd make it and you held my hand. It was a long journey with my life here on earth. I was sick for a while. Sometimes it was not easy on you. I want to say thank you for everything that you did for me. You brighten, your smile brightened my days. I miss you always. When you see birds, I am near you. Remember me always. So I definitely think this was a male that had passed away here and he had, maybe he had a long, uh, term illness here on earth but something that that he knew eventually that would take his life but he really fought very hard and you were always there for him and this could have been a friend of yours and it was just really hard to see him go through this and it just it just breaks your heart to think that how he had to suffer here on earth. So it says we are soulmates. I am standing right next to you. Now I have no pain. And we are so connected. So what I am getting here, this could have been someone's friend or this could have been someone's husband as well. I'm getting with We Are The Soulmates card. It's just, it was just so hard on you to see him suffer through this life. But he wants to, like I said, he wants to thank you for always being there for him and being 
and helping him when he had his days where it was very hard for him. Remember, he's still standing next to you in this life. And, he, and you are happy and he's happy that he has no more pain, but just not being here is what hurts the most, though, for you still. And it's hard and he knows it's hard for you. It says cleanse, seek, and serenity. So this person wants you to know that they are in peace. I know it just took a lot out of you to take care of them every day, but they are so thankful for that. That they want you to honor and nurture your and love yourself now and remove all negative energies and emotions that that was left behind from him here on earth. He wants you to know that he is happy and he is at peace. Maybe you are still trying to figure out you know, if you could still connect to him somehow. I think he's going to come to you in a dream as well, just, just to let you know that he is okay. He wants you to take care of yourself, though. That's a big message from, from him. So I have new life. Co-create. And no place like home. I don't know, I just got this feeling that this person wasn't that old when they had passed away. Maybe with his long-term illness, he maybe out outlived what they were expecting. I don't know, maybe between the ages of 39 and 50 between that age group. Maybe 39, 40, and 50. These numbers may be a significance to you. This could have been the age they passed away or they, you could be seeing these numbers as well. So no place like home. He wanted to maybe pass away at home. Like it just, that's where he loved to be. Like he spent most of his time there and you took really good care of him. You guys worked together as a team, but he wants you to start a new life for yourself. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be at peace and he just, he just wants you to see that smile back on your face. So we have happiness, blessings, and travel. So this person wants you to know that there will still be happiness here on earth and he wants you to know that he's happy. Because remember, he's in no pain now. And he will feel so blessed that he had you in his life to walk through this life with him. Maybe you guys used to travel a lot, travel together. Maybe not that far, but you guys did maybe travel to, to some places together. And he was very thankful for those times that, he, that you shared with him. So look at the bigger picture. Your commitment is being tested and the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel that he's saying, look at the bigger picture here. Look, look at how I may have suffered through life and now I'm at peace. He just wants you to take a look at that and find peace within yourself knowing that he's okay now. So he wants you to get some energy back into your life and just live life. I know the commitment is being tested here. He knew that you were very committed to him, but he wants for you to have that commitment to yourself now and for you to really look after yourself. So I'm going to pull some messages. So we... This person may could have had black hair. This person could have had brown hair. So we have something about two months. He could have passed away two months ago. 
And then we have home again. He could have been very tall. This person was very talented. Let's pull a couple more here. This person was very kind hearted. And he was very handsome. So we're also going to pull some charms here. So with this turtle, I feel that it was a very drawn out illness that this person had faced. This person was very religious, I feel. I feel that you're going to be getting a message from this person, so just pay attention to the synchronicities in your life. This person was always very protective of you, and you guys had a lot of stability in your relationship. There's going to be a lot of changes coming your way. He's watching you from heaven with the angel wing. Sometimes he feels he may have been toxic to you because he was sometimes he had really bad days with his illness. But like I said, with the turtle, it was the two turtles. Like it was very drawn out for both of you. But that doesn't mean that you miss him any less because he was sick here on earth and you had to take care of him. He's just very grateful for the time that he had here on earth with you. And he does want you to be happy again. And he would like you to find somebody else if you're open to that. And he will be very really happy to see you happy again. And he just wants you to know that when the time is right and the opportunity is right for you, then he'll be happy for you. But he is always with you. He doesn't want to ever think that you, he was a burden in your life either. And he wants you to know that he is always with you. And just look up at the stars at night if you want to talk to him as well. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.